guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be a little different because it's not beauty related, nor fashion related, nor lifestyle related. Kind of maybe. Um, I don't know. But today is going to be my first ever GA experience. And if you don't know what GA is, it's general admission for a to visit my friend Isabel on my birthday weekend. And we went to two of the all-time low concerts and we did have general admission for them. So I'm going to speak about them today because... As my first general admission experience, this was a crazy one. So I'm just going to tell you all about what happened, show you some things that I got, and that's going to be the video. So we had early entry because we did have signing tickets. Um, signing is when you go into the room with all-time low, and they give you a poster, and then they sign it for you. So um, we, we did go to the signing both August 2nd and August 3rd on my birthday. Um, the first day when we were waiting in line, these girls were coming around and passing these stickers around. So we just got two stickers. Um, this one is just like a purple heart skull one with like a moon and this one is just the 1 OK Rock. And I did see 1 OK Rock when I went to see Five Sauce, so I kind of knew who they were, so I like liked the sticker. So this is what we got and then um, there was also some small tiny bands, um, not like opening acts, but there were some bands that were going from following the tour, and when the girls were waiting in line, they would like come, show you like some of their music, um, and give you like their CDs, and I did have the CD, but I left it in my friend's bag, and I don't have it because she lives in Maryland, but they would like let us listen to some of their songs, and they would tell us like where they were from, and like, um, where if they're doing it a concert and stuff like that, so we would just like talk and listen to their music, and it was all fun and like fun and stuff like that. And as you're waiting in line, you do get a wristband because you're early entry. Oh so yeah, the first day we got a green one, and mine's like all cut up, but it just says early entry, all time low. So this is the green one from the first day, and then we waited in line on um, the first day. It was really unorganized. It was like four different lines. There was one for early entry, one for the signing, one for meet and greet. There was a regular general admission line. So it was really unorganized. And we ended up sitting in the wrong line for early entry. But because the security guards told us to sit there, they felt bad. So they let us stay there. And we did get pretty good, um, like not seats, but pretty good standing area for general admission. First day, we got this poster that they gave us it's like all like rolled because it's been rolled but this is the poster that they gave us and these are the signatures so like there's there's Jax there's oh, I can't see there is Zax there is Alex and there's Ryan so this is the poster that they gave us and this is the poster they gave you for day one and day two if you have the signing tickets. Um, day one. Day one, we got there around 2 because you have to be there for 2.30 um, for the signing. We waited in line and nothing started until like 3, 3.30. And normal GA is supposed to, the doors open for normal GA at 5.30 and that's when we got entered. Um, that's, where, that's when we were allowed to go in. And we had early entry, so it was like all disorganized, as I said. But we finally got in there. For GA, it's really hard to get into your area and then not be able to like leave because people will take your room and stuff like whatever. So we had like a whole plan. So one of us would go to the bathroom um, and then come back, and then somebody else would go, and then everything like that. So like my friend Isabel went last because she also had to get water for all of us, um, and they did have free water for everybody there, which was really really good. It was a small venue, so there wasn't as many people there, and um, there was still a lot of people. But, so the concert started, and I think the Rocks came on first, which is now my all-time favorite band, because they are so cute. One, they are so cute, and two, their music is just really, really good. So they, they came on first, and everybody was, like, dancing. As each act came on, people would push, so, um, we were, at first, when we first got in, we were, like, maybe six rows behind, like six people behind um, the stage, and as each act would come on, people would push, so we would get pushed to the front. So by the Rex, we were like kind of close, and then the water parks came on, I think around like, okay, so the Rex came on, the show started at 6.30, Rex came on around 
6.55 I think. And then the water parks came on, we got pushed again as well. Um, maybe around like 7.30 I think. I really don't remember any of the times. So the water parks came on and last was the swimmers. The wrecks and the water parks weren't as bad. But then the swimmers came on and then they played their set, everybody was jumping. It wasn't as crazy as you know. I thought it was just going to be like this all night. No, it wasn't. Um, one of the songs that the swimmers sang, uh, they like screamed into the microphone. They were like, I want to see the biggest, can't say that word, circle pit over there. And the circle pit came and then we all got pushed. Like crazy, everyone got pushed. They were doing the whole cir circle pit and that happened. And then All Time Low came on and that's when all hell broke loose. Um, there was crowd surfers and me and my friends were getting crushed like I'm kidding like there was crowd surfers coming over us like I fell someone like stepped on me It was crazy a video of a girl crowd surfing And I'm going to show you right now Like everyone was crowd surfing and like the venue there were signs up on the venue saying crowd surfing will not be like it's prohibited like you cannot crowd surf But people were still doing it and they did nothing Ready? Don't mind my singing. Okay. See, I don't know if you can really see it, but... Okay, if you saw that. But there was like crowd surfers like crazy, there was like one after another and I was keep getting like me and my friends kept getting like like my hair was getting ripped out it was crazy there was so much pushing and then by like the middle of the set um, there was a girl and her boyfriend right next to me and I thought it was okay you know it was fine they like ended up next to me we're just gonna jam out we're just gonna dance but no he had like bracelets all over his wrist and I think it was like they were like studs or something because he was like going like this against my back and I like this is what my back looks like sorry I'm like really really pale and I don't know if you can see it but, like this is what my back looked like at the end of the night like it was horrible it didn't really hurt that much but like I knew something was there by the end of the night by the end of the all-time flow set we were at the front we're at barricade and it, there was so many people there you could not get out like at all by dear Maria County and we knew that we were gonna die like <laughs> the crowd servers were gonna be crazy the pushing was gonna be crazy like we just knew because from all the other songs they sang like we knew it was going to be horrible so we went out to the because we were at barricade we had no way of getting out like it was so hard to push past people because people thought like hey they're pushing us they're gonna try to get to the front even though we were already at the front but um so we were like hey like how do we get out of here so I was like, we need to, we need to call security. Like we need to get out of here. And so we went to, to like, we were trying to call security and we we're like, we need to get out. Like we need to get out of here. And so security picked me up and put me over like, um, because this is a barricade and this is a stage. There's like space between there with security stands. So like they put me there and they picked my friend up and we went out, um, we went to the bathroom and then we just like watched Dear Maria from like the bar area. Obviously we were not drinking, but like there was a bar there for anybody over 21. We did get stamped. Um, there was X's on both of our wrists because if you're under 21, you weren't allowed to drink and you weren't allowed re-entry. So we did have X's on our hands. Um, so we stood by like the bar over there and just watched Dear Maria from there. And then um, they were giving out free um, Rockstar energy drinks at the end of the night for everybody who were at the concert, which was really cool. It was really good. Um, I did get one and <laughs> drank some of it, but I knew I had to go to sleep, so that was it. That was the end of day one. Day two, we got there um, around the same time, and we met Rivers Monroe, which is another small band um, that was coming around and like letting everyone listen to their music and stuff. And they didn't have an actual CD. They did have like these little download cards, which you could download their um, album on. And they were five dollars, but it was my birthday, so they gave it for they gave it to me. They're like, "Hey, happy birthday!" And they did sign it because you know, yeah. So this is all of their autographs. Huh? I knew that. I missed that word for a second. But um, so we let we listened to their music. We all hung out. Like 
all the girls like were just there and this is the wristband we got for day two which is the same exact thing it's just an early entry all time low but this one's orange we got the same poster and then um we got to the signing we did that and then day two thankfully was not as crazy as day one um the whole like the only bad thing was for the whole all-time low set, I was not with Isabel and my other friend at all. Like, day one we went with um, Isabel and then her friend Jules, and we were like, fine, we were all together. Day two we went with, um, well obviously Isabel and her friend Emily. We were together for the wrecks, we were together for the water parks, and then I slowly started to drift and get pushed. And because I am so short and tiny, like, I do get pushed and I do fall. Um, by swimmers, I was like not really close to them at all and swimmers the, the exact same thing they did first night and they were like hey we want to see a huge circle pit over like here whoever right when that circle pit happened Isabel and Emily went this way and then I went this way like I was nowhere near them there was no way I could get back to them I didn't know where they were and like I didn't want to get out and be alone because I, I didn't know if they were still in the crowd. Um, it's really hard to take your phone out and to like hold your phone. So I, I couldn't even text them. And there was like no service whatsoever. Um, so I was like, day two, there was a less crowd surfing and less, like, yeah, there was less crowd surfing, but there was way more pushing. And there was way, I think there was way more people there day two because it was so crowded, you could not move. Um, once that circle could happen, I like, was stuck like this onto someone and um this kid his arm was like this like in front of my face like right here and like he kept apologizing he was like I'm so sorry like I like I'm sorry about this. I was like it's like it's fine like I don't care um but like it was that's how crowded it was like no one could move so by all time low came on like um I finally was able to reach Emily and Izzy and she like I DM them whatever because Instagram was the only thing working apparently um, and they were like hey we're gonna get out by drugs and candy which was the second to, uh, the third to last song and I was like okay me too but like be safe like stay there because we knew there was no way of getting back to like together because of how many people were there so for the whole all-time low set I was stuck next to these two people I obviously made friends with the kid whose armpit was in my face but it's fine um, his name's Nathan and we were like and it was like really really nice because whenever a crowd server was coming like and I'm like so short and I don't have as like I couldn't really reach whatever so whenever a crowd server would come like he would like try and like make sure like I don't die which was good because like I was really thankful for that and like if I was like getting pushed like he would help me like it was really really nice so like if Nathan if you ever see this video which you're probably not going to thank you for you know helping me and like not letting me die <laughs> but um and then there was a girl behind me and she was like having an asthma attack like she couldn't breathe like it just all happened so suddenly and like I was like trying to help her and I was like I was like pushing people in front of me I was like hey like she needs to get out like she cannot breathe so she ended up getting pulled out by security which was like thankful like she needed to get out and I was like I was glad that I helped her and stuff like that um and then by drugs and candy like I, I kind of, I do have asthma, so I started to like feel like I needed to get out. So I was like, hey, Nathan, I'm going to get out. Thank you for helping me. Stuff like that. I went to security. I was like, hey, I need to get out. So I got out. I used my inhaler, stuff like that. And then um, they did give out rock surgeons again. Second night. It was really hot, too. So this is basically a video of me describing what the two days were like. My first GA experience overall was so crazy. Like, I think in my opinion it depends on the like the musician or band and their type of music. I think that the crowd and audience, how they act is depends on what type of music the band makes or musician makes and the type of band or musician they are. Like All Time Low is a like a rock, punkish, like pop, like I don't know how to describe it because I'm really horrible at like describing bands. But like they are that type of like they're like like they're, they're like pop like they're like really rocky music like it's it's like jump like dance like woohoo music that was a good like yeah and like if you go to like my friend um Isabel like obviously she was telling me like when she went to GA for a wonder like it was so chill and no one was pushing like it was 
I think it depends on the type of music that you're going to listen to. Because if it's like a real like, yeah, like woohoo, like warp to our kind of music, you're gonna get pushed. There's gonna be crowd surfers. Like it's a rock like concert, obviously. But if it's like somewhere like Halsey or like a Wonder or Khaled, like it's a nice like chill, when you get that chill vibe, like you're not really gonna be pushing or crowd surfing to that type of music. GA is different for every single type of concert you go to, in my opinion. So obviously I went to the most crazy GA concert ever um you know from i did think i got a concussion at one point i did get need in the eye i did get pushed around a lot but it was overall the best concert ever so much happened when i go to five stops and stuff like i would bring like posters and like letters hoping that they would get them and like stuff like that and i would tweet them all the time thinking if they would follow me back and like they don't but like this concert was the most energetic so much happened like um Billy from the Rex, like the drummer from the Rex, he followed me, um, all of Rivers Monroe followed me the second after, which is the band, I, the, the band I met the first time, they followed me, Billy answered my DM, like so much happened, like I, they all, like some of them liked my pictures, like I, it was so much happened to me, it was so crazy, like I actually got noticed by a band, like that was like my, that was like the best. Overall, like this concert was like so fun and my GA experience was crazy like I loved it so that was my first ever GA experience if you guys liked this video if you didn't like this video let me know oh look at that thank you so much for watching I hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to like comment and subscribe if you want to be part of the fam 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 bam that's my new thing so yeah thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time bye